Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. Today, Yomi Fabi and many others have stomped Banti to protest against the detention of his colleague. Olariwa Jominka, aka Baba Jesha, who was accused of defiling a minor. During this protest, Fabi and other protesters marched from Casino bus stop to Banti police station today, this morning. They demanded that Baba Jesha should be released from detention pending a court would hear his case. Yami Fabi has been supportive of Baba Jesha and has described the continuous detention of Baba Jesha as illegal. So currently, Yomi Fabi and many others are at the State Criminal Investigation Department where Baba Jesha is being detained. Meanwhile, as we had Henry reported, new reporter coming out and Yomi Fabi says that another man has been arrested and is currently in the police custody who allegedly defiled a minor, the same minor, the foster daughter of Princess Comedian. We'll be bringing you more details about this protest. And also the group that are protesting are holding on some placards. Some of the placards read, Police, we know you're doing your job and we are not against it. But please release Baba Jesha on bail. Denial of bail of billable offenses is human rights violation. Meanwhile, as you had earlier reported, the Yoba actor and producer Yomi Fabi stated that the 14 years old girl who was allegedly defiled by the actor Larry Minka, popularly known as Baba Jesha, had sex with another man who is also close to Princess Adekwala Adekwanya. Yomi Fabi explained that the man had been arrested and that the teenager had admitted that she had sex with him but not with Baba Jesha at any time. He said that this in an interview with Celebrity News Magazine, City People, when they visited him. Yomi Fabi claimed to have met Baba Jesha in custody. And to have also met Princess and the girl for more explanation on this matter. And he said, I'm not a judge, but it's extremely wrong. I'm disappointed in him. Baba Jesha, that's not too much for me to say because it caused it. Another interesting part is that the girl confessed to having had sex. Not with Baba Jesha, but with someone who is close to Princess. And he's in the police custody. Nobody's talking about that. You can quote me on this. Except the police would lie. Somebody has been arrested because the girl confessed Baba Jesha did sleep with her. The person that has been sleeping with her lives on their street and is being picked up and now in Banti, the state's criminal investigation and intelligence department. The girl in the video knew she was going to be touched and he knew he would touch her. Those who planned that are co conspirators. Because if you said you wanted to have proof, what other did? Who authorized it? And before you can actually authorize it, it must be established that the incident occurred the first time. And that's when we can say, let's find a way to nip him again. But he didn't approach the police. If that didn't happen, it was a setup. And Baba Jesha stupidly entered the trap. But we are all women. Nobody should be set up. I have already put up a petition that will go to the governor, the Speaker of Lagos State, notify them of the things their appointees didn't pay attention to. It could be an oversight or they got carried away. So why should your law be right in this matter when you don't want to tell the other party you're wrong? That's partiality. That would not take us anywhere. I already put a statement saying that what he did wasn't right. And if the whole scenario can send him to jail, that's the prerogative of the judge. And as we had earlier reported, the Lagos State government has recommended a five case charge be brought against the Nollywood actor Olan Raju James Omega, popularly known as Baba Jesha, for sexually assaulting a minor. One of the sexual assault charges that the state government listed is punishable by life imprisonment. Well, this was how it was reported. Whilst the state would ensure that Mr. Larawaji James Wright's case ensuring in the constitutional upheld, the Ministry of Justice will not relent in its efforts in ensuring that whoever sexually abuses any resident of Lagos State speedily be brought to book. Lagos State Commissioner for Justice, Mr. Oniba Anju, said in a statement, and she said that after due consideration of the facts in the case failed, the Directorate of Public Prosecutions issued legal advice on the 4th of May 2021, which is to the effect that the prima facie case has been disclosed against Mr. Laraju James and recommended that he be charged under the following provisions of the criminal law, Lagos 2015. Number 1, Section 135, indecent treatment of a child punishable by seven years imprisonment. Number 2, Section 137, defilement of a child punishable by life imprisonment. Number 3, Section 261, sexual assault by penetration punishable by life imprisonment. Number 4, Section 262, Attempted sexual assault by penetration punishable by 14 years imprisonment. And number 5, section 263, sexual assault punishable by 3 years imprisonment. Baba Jesha was arrested on April 22nd for allegedly defiling this minor. The Lagos State Police spokesperson, Ulumiwa Dejobi, had said in a statement that preliminary findings revealed that 
The suspect assaulted the victim sexually when she was only seven years old. There was an uproar following a report that a directive had been given for the release of Babajisha from custody since his alleged offense was the Pelipum one. A video of the suspect confessing to sexually assaulting the victim and begging for forgiveness had however gone viral following the rumor that the investigation revealed that Babajisha did not defile the victim. The comedian princess, who is the foster parent of the victim, said Babajisha first assaulted the girl twice sexually when she was seven years old. She said that Nollywood actor penetrated the victim with a kick. Princess said that the victim opened up about the incident recently at the age of 14 when a video of Babajisha acting with her showed on their screen at home. Also, as mentioned earlier, Yomifabi put up a petition that to go to the governor and the speaker of Lagos State to notify them of the things their appointees didn't pay attention to. The petition to the Lagos State Governor read in part, I want to thank your excellency and cabinet for your continued efforts in providing basic social amenities and services to the people of Lagos State. To this end, I'm writing to bring to your notice a one-sided prosecution and trial in a case of child abuse under your watch. By your Attorney General slash Commission of Justice, as well as the Lagos State Commission of Police in an unjust manner. If this action is left unchecked, it's good. Trigger a widespread public protest imminently. It is said that justice is a three-way principle which ought to be for the victim, the accused, and the society at large. Recently, at the end of April 2021, a senior colleague and popular actor Larry Omiinka, aka Baba Jisha, was arrested on the allegation of sexual assault. An event the complainant, an event the complainant claimed was captured on closed circuit television CCTV, and this piece of information litters the social media. From the onset, I restrained myself from judging and concluding as the case is said to be in the hands of the police force. And I had no idea of what the charges might be. In order not to openly join the masses on social media trial, I visited the suspect in Police II Dickman T. We had a lengthy talk and he divulged some vital information that is quite disturbing. Your Excellency said, While I'm still trying to see the best I can make of this incident and scenario around these allegations and apprehension, two video footage were released online, purportedly confirming some of the widespread reports. As an adult member of the voting public and a human rights ambassador, the first video, which I cannot confirm if it was submitted as part of the evidence to the police, with some unidentified adult contributed, aided and abated the alleged act and indeed committed the following crimes. We have come to the end of this episode where Yomifabi released the protest against the detention of Baba Jesha as it's still currently at the police custody. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily contents.